and welcome to Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Fort Sill is home of the Field Artillery, and since 1911, this post has trained our nation's finest field artillerymen. With more than 121 years of service to our country, Fort Sill is now widely recognized as the Artillery University of the Free World. you can be is more than an army slogan. For Brigadier General Frank Miller, the military provides life chances for young men and women. That's a Frank Miller term, life chances. Uh, you take a kid that comes out of the inner city of New York or Detroit or Los Angeles, that kid doesn't have very many chances to succeed in life. And as such, uh, when he makes a commitment to join the United States Army, I need to elevate his expectations that he can do things that were not available to him before. He can get an education, he can learn a skill, he can be part of a very professional operation and team, he can have fun being good, and he takes a great deal of pride in that, and therefore the things that he can contribute back to society are infinitely greater than if he'd have stayed in that inner city with no life expectations. In June of last year, General Miller received his star and a chance to command the 3rd Corps Artillery. He joined the Army as a private in 1966. Today, the 47-year-old Kansas native is a leader, a family man, and a philosopher. You gotta have fun doing what you're doing or it's not worth doing. This is a lot of fun, to my philosophy at least, that if you take care of the people, they'll take care of the mission, and everybody will have a lot of fun and you'll do well. So that the leadership cares about them, that they will go above and beyond the call of duty. We spent several hours with Miller as he did his job. The day in the life of a general begins before dawn and is not finished until way after nightfall. My work days, you know, I get up early. Uh, you know, I may go home with two briefcases worth of paper or just some notes, and I will sit there until 2 o'clock in the morning writing them up. I can survive on three, four hours sleep forever. Now, my hours in the field are a little bit different. To orders. I almost never sleep in the field. We went on Roadrunner. We were on Roadrunner for nine days. I think in nine days, I may have gotten maybe seven hours sleep. But that's because of adrenaline and interest and wanting to see everything and so on. You've got to go field artillery. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't want to hear any of this stuff about infantry, armor, that other BS, OK? Check, sir. you got to go field artillery. Check, sir. I'll be looking for you. Yes, sir. Congratulations, kid. Super Thanks, job. Sir. Don't get hurt playing football. Yes, sir. All right. Give him a round of applause. Super job. What? Exercise. One, two, three. Miller has been described as a soldier's general, not afraid of getting dirty. He says it's important for him to participate with the NCO. Hey, stretch. Well, I used to be a soldier. Uh, I was a private for about 10 and a half months before I went to OCS. I just don't consider myself very important. Relax. I, I consider that young kid out there who has uh, made a pretty good commitment uh, to defend his country. Uh, to create life chances for himself, he's infinitely more important than I will be. It's easy to come up with a very esoteric, wonderful, brilliant plan. But if the soldiers can't execute it, then we're dead. So I have a special affection and feeling for the soldiers, and I think uh, uh, that is the only way to win in battle. Good morning, guys. Good morning, sir. How you sir. How's everything? Order the sir. Thanks. You know, I have horrible eating habits. I'm a junk food junkie. You know, I love Snickers, candy bars. I eat once a day. 
on a good day, I eat once a day, and that's normally dinner. I don't eat breakfast unless I have a breakfast with the commanders. So I may go two days, three days, and not eat at all. And then I'll remember to eat and I'll eat. But that's just me. Uh, I just, you know, I eat to live. I don't live to eat. Today is one of those days he decides to eat breakfast, and then it's time to go to work. He sees himself as a cheerleader. His brigade commanders are the brain power of the 3rd Corps artillery. That individual will not stay in my army. He's not going to stay in yours either. I've got brilliant brigade commanders. I've got absolutely marvelous command sergeant majors. Uh, they don't need for me to tell them uh, how to suck eggs. I mean, they really don't. What they need is some encouragement. They need a great deal of support. They need somebody to fight those battles that they can't fight themselves, to give them the time to spend with the soldier, to spend with the soldier's family. BFC James here, I got BFC Murray. Two five. Private Brown. All these guys are brand new in the Army. Being out in the field with his men is also important to General Miller. He says he makes sure everyone has a job to do and the tools to do it with. His task is observing the soldiers. Caring for the young ones is his main objective. You ask why I, I come out here. This is why I come out here. You know, these guys are singularly unique and special. And they run this gun, they run the 548, and they put steel on target. And when we go to war, it's going to be kids just like this who win. Good, bad, or indifferent, they're going to win. And the only thing they ask for most of the time is good leadership and someone to care about them. General Miller's visit to the field today is to observe them fire a copperhead missile. It's the first guided projectile that can be fired from a cannon. Copperhead is guided into a specific target, a tank, a, uh, a bunker, or a CP, using a laser. It is a laser-guided munition. And so it gives the artillery the capability to kill point targets with a great deal of accuracy. Since I've been in uh, three corps artillery, we have fired about 16 copperhead rounds, and we've had 16 for 16 hits. And they're special. And now I only have about 7,000 of them, and they're all great. And I got, and what really makes it work is guys like uh, Sergeant First Class Pringle, Sergeant Wilson, Sergeant Little John. You take these kids, they don't know squat from squat and make them into soldiers. But first, we've got to make them into good guys, good citizens. On the field or off, keeping contact with the soldiers, an endless duty for this general. Telling soldiers they are doing an outstanding job is something an NCO will never forget. The result will mean a better and stronger military force. The kids are very important to me. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm here. Uh, that's just kind of how I feel about it. Soldiers respond to that, I think. When we return, we will meet the Miller family as we continue to observe the day in the life of a general.